All right, so we got that hard drive that I just pulled out of that laptop. Somebody obviously wiped it and decided that they were just going to give it away or donate it to charity. Well, thinking if they deleted their drive, their files are gone. But unfortunately, that's not always the case, and I'm going to show you how. So, for example, I just plugged that drive in. There it is, right here, the Turian drive, exactly the way it was on that laptop. When we looked at it with the uh, Mini XP, there was no files on the drive. So, drive E is my target drive. Now, there is this amazing, awesome little tool right here called Recova, and I'm going to show you real quick how to download it because you're definitely going to want to do that. If you go to ccleaner.com slash recuva, R-E-C-U-V-A, it's a totally free program and it actually goes and undeletes files, which is amazing. Um, now there's a couple caveats to that. If the file has been deleted for a long time, it's not likely you're going to recover it with this software. However, if you just deleted the file and you immediately go into panic mode, like a lot of people do, the best thing you can do is immediately go download this program, install it, run it, and scan that drive, and 99.9 .9 times out of 100, if it's only been a minute or so, or a couple minutes, or a day, and you haven't used your computer much, you're likely to save that file. And I'm gonna show you how all that works. So you open up the program, goes through the wizard, you say, what are you trying to recover? Well, did you delete a picture, an MP3, a document, video, whatever? I always just choose all files because I want it to show me everything. But if you're looking for something specific, you know, if you know it's a picture, well, you can just go back and say, well, I just want the pictures, okay? So in this case, I'm going to do all files because I want to see what was on this drive. I click Next, and it says, okay, where is the file? Uh, is it, you're not sure. It could be on one of your drives. You're not sure. Is it on a media like a floppy drive or CD? It's in your documents folder or in the recycle bin. In this case, I know exactly where it is because remember, it's on drive E right here. So I'm going to say it's in a specific location. I'm going to browse to drive E, click OK, click Next, and I'm going to just I'm going to leave the deep scan off because say I just recently deleted this file. I don't need to do a deep scan. This one will be pretty quick. So I'm just going to do a basic scan click start and in this case no files were found okay well that means maybe they deleted it properly so in this case I'm gonna tell it to run a deep scan and look at that it's already found 28 files and it will just run until it's completely scanned that drive and looked for all deleted files and here in a second I'll fast forward and show you what it looks like well the first part of that video backfired turns out that hard drive was one that I had actually took out and deleted the files for the customer so there was nothing recoverable on it however as an example for you uh, I found another hard drive that has a handful of pictures on it let me show you that right here probably about 1500 photos about five gigabytes so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to and I'm going to use this one specifically so we can point it out later. I just called it test. I have no idea what it is. It just looks kind of cool. So I'm going to delete all of these photos as if you were a normal person and accidentally deleted all of your stuff. Bye. Gone. So now you can see, oh my god, what did I just do? I deleted all my pictures. Oh no. Well, what you do is you go and you run recover. And we go back through the same process again, except this time we're just going to say pictures because we know that's all we deleted. Next, specific location, we're going to tell it to go to the E drive, which is the folder. Matter of fact, we could even go deeper than that and go, to, we know what folder it was in, which was in the pictures folder. We're going to narrow it down even further because this is the folder right here that was deleted from. So that's where we're going to say look in that folder. Click next. Start. Now if you'll notice, it found 1500 files. Which is ironically exactly the number of files that we just deleted. And look at there, they're all magically reappeared. 
so and there is the test file so after it does its initial scan you could go and select whatever files in this case you'd want to select them all but in this case I want to select this file and just recover this file put it back where, it found, where I found it originally in the pictures folder click OK yes click OK bam look at there just got my file right back after permanently deleting it and it's all because of this program right here Recova. It is a fantastic utility and it is 100% free so the other thing you need to think of is when you delete files off your computer and give them give the computer away or donate it to charity if someone wanted to they could take your hard drive out and do exactly what I just did in a matter of a few seconds and they would have access to all of your files now in this case I only took the pictures but say I had you had documents in here with social security numbers and identifying information a photo of your driver's license maybe a passport photo or important medical records or maybe god forbid you had a file in here with websites and passwords like to your bank or whatever you started to get the picture so the important thing to know is that a if you accidentally delete files they are very easily recoverable if you do it quickly and also if you want to permanently delete your hard drive you need to make sure that you don't just delete the files off the computer there are dozens of programs online that will let you securely scrub the drive so that these photos documents pictures whatever will not be retrievable by anybody so I hope that information helps you and um, make sure you subscribe thanks